Andy. Good day, YouTube. Hey, temperatures here in Vegas, well, they're about to hit three digits. I figured let's check out a very chill and very cold game that came out two weeks ago. So let's get into Indomitable. Wait, no, Insurmountable. Why do I keep saying Indomitable? It's not like it's a snowman or a Yeti or... What the hell? Anyway, before I forget, I'm going to remind you. Like and comment on this video. If you want to go do it right now, go for it. It helps us out. It lets us know what content you enjoy. And if you haven't done it already, there is a subscribe button. It lets you know that we post the video each and every week. Also, if you want to see some of these games like Indomitable, Damn it. Insurmountable. We play it over on Twitch. Three to seven. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Beers Day and or Fridays. So what is this game? Insurmountable is a strategy roguelike game where you're going to climb a mountain. It's a chilling. I get it. Chilling because it's cold. Anyway stroll up the side of a mountain where you will have to make some very tough choices to survive or you're going to join the countless numbers of climbers in that snowy abyss the gameplay insurmountable it's like a digital tabletop game you move about a procedurally generated game board and you will land on different events as you manage four separate things temperature energy oxygen or o2 and well my favorite to neglect sanity do you have three different types of characters that will change the abilities you start with that's the adventurer the scientist and the journalist so climb that mountain don't die seems like a pretty easy premise right Alrighty. so music and sound well there is not many tracks to the music honestly but it does add to your experience it hangs out in the background it just adds to the environment so when you stumble upon a danger event it picks up in intensity it adds to the feel of that when you find a calm cave filled with 10,000 fireflies the music almost completely stops and no owl city does not start playing with an echo in the background different song different fireflies okay moving on the sound in this game well, it stands out more than the music does. Honestly, it really does. The birds that are cawing as you're going by, eagles and little chirps, rocks tumbling down, and it sounds different from time to time. You're walking through snow or ice. It all has a different sound to it, and it's all there. It really helps you feel like, well, you're the one that's climbing. When a storm comes in, everything is lost in the sound of roaring winds. The look, well, at first, all you really see is a bunch of different hex tiles, all in different shades of white, gray, and some green. I know, it doesn't sound too exciting, but as the game goes on, and as you're climbing the mountain, you notice that there are areas that are not traversable, that there's a difference to regular ice and dangerous ice, that as it gets cold, you notice that your character will start to try to warm themselves up and they shiver. If you take a moment to look around and just zoom in on your character or zoom out to the panorama off the side of the mountain, it is beautiful, it is majestic, and it's actually, you have to kind of take it all in. Plenty of detail can be missed in this game from, well, always being out in the same zoom and really, not slowing down to see everything the game has. What does Insurmountable feel like? Well, it pulls you into this weird world of almost solidarity. You are climbing this mountain alone, but you do run into wildlife and you have brief encounters with climbers or locals, but none of them speak your language. So you still feel alone. And depending on if you have neglected your stats, you will end up running into, you know, man-eating fog and cult members. Seriously, neglect your sanity at least once. It gets crazy. 
Though your climb can be calming and overall pretty chill, there are times that a few bad events can cause you to really worry about this success of your expedition. I mean, when you lose one of your stats completely, there is this deafening heartbeat sound as your character is literally grasping for air. And it adds to this level of anxiety you didn't think that the game had in it at the time. And the difficulty, well, it is set just right. Just, uh, just right. If you were making a number of bad mistakes, it could cost you your climb. Or if you manage your resources properly, you may make it all the way to the top and not realize that you actually have to climb down to a base camp. And, you know, I will actually say that there is a bit of a story for each climber, though it's not terribly deep, or at least I haven't seen anything that's deep. There are some shrouds of mystery that could happen, things like, you know, lost TV show level of hatches and stuff, but it, you never really see what's going on. But maybe it's because I haven't put in 50 hours into this game yet. So, what do we, CTL, Cleave, think of Insurmountable? I honestly really kind of enjoyed this game. I do find myself going back to it for a bit at, during streams. If I'm looking for something that's really just kind of chill and I want to talk to chat because you can stop it. Time does progress, but only when you're moving. I will say this, that, you know, we really try not to die too many times from twisting our ankle. But that being said, I do feel that the climber can be kind of an idiot. And maybe that has to do with me playing the game. But I twisted my ankle again and again and again. And I would get hit by rocks over and over and over again. And, well, I think that is because to be a little bit disappointed, we did see repeat events literally on our first climb. But I kind of expected that from the start. Even AAA titles that have this type of element, well, they have the same problem. It may not be immediate, but, you know, by your fifth or sixth game, you're seeing repeated elements. And I don't feel that this ruins the game either, because once you understand those elements, you know that it's the stats that you're getting out of this. So even if it's the same thing over and over again, you'll see the stats go. I do feel that it could have had a little more content to it, maybe expanding a bit on that story or, you know, unlockables that change what your character does at the beginning of a climb so that it kind of extends more than just the simple roguelike, you die, you start over. Maybe, you know, special equipment that you can put on. But I do see that we will absolutely get our $1 an hour metric that we usually use to measure a game's worth. And you'll probably get that out of Insurmountable. What do you think, YouTube? Is this something that you're going to check out? Is it something you already have? Well, let me know in the comments below or drop in on the chat. Thanks again for joining me. We'll see you next video. YouTube, thank you very much for watching the video. Hey, let me know down below by liking, subscribing, and commenting on how this video went. That's best way to tell me. And if you want to see us live Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, they're over on Twitch. Link's always in the video. So keep being you. Love you for being here. Hey, don't forget, do the thing.